Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk, and so we're going to do an outdoor episode of Five Records in Five Minutes. And so, what are we covering this month? We're covering the states Colorado through Florida. And you can see it's a nice wintry day here. Um, not as much snow as we used to get in Colorado, especially when I lived up in ski country. So what kind of Colorado record am I going to show this month? Am I going to show Rocky Mountain High by John Denver? Am I going to show one of those... Uh, mainstreamy sort of jammy uh boulder colorado released groups like big head todd the monsters no what i'm going to show what i'm going to show is going to be the fluid purple metal flake music and so we've got white flakes on the ground and we got purple flakes here and so this was sort of denver's uh grunge band and so they came, uh, there was an earlier punk band called Frantics. A couple of the members came from there. And I always felt they were really underrated. They were one of those bands that had a major label deal. And the major label didn't know what to do with them. And they never really went anywhere. But if you ever see this CD used, you should get it. All right, let's do the rest of this inside. So... Uh, what comes after Colorado is going to be the state of Connecticut. And so Connecticut's kind of hard because I don't really think off the top of my head of anybody that's, oh, that's like an obviously a Connecticut band. Uh, and I'm not from that part of the country. Did a little bit of research. I found somebody who was born and raised in Stamford, but then ended up on the Lower East Side of New York City. So we're going to... Uh, New York City by way of Connecticut. And then I think he eventually moved on elsewhere so we've got willie deville uh so the group meet deville uh coup de gras and so this is the only record i have by them this came out in 1981 uh on the atlantic label and so i think they were uh they're kind of one of these groups that i think eh, people never really think about a lot i don't see people showing meet deville records but it's a pretty cool record Next record I'm going to show is going to be a little bit more famous, so it's going to represent the state of Delaware. Um, so Tom Verlaine was raised in Wilmington, and then he met Richard Hell in a boarding school in Delaware, and Richard Hell was in the early version of television. Of course, then he got kicked out, but of course, um, this was recently reissued. I have a reissue from a few, few years previously on the super cool clear vinyl. Of course, we all know this album. Uh, television marquee moon of course when i say we all know this album i know some of you don't know this album but uh marquee moon uh critically acclaimed debut album from the new york legend legends by way sort of kind of of the state of delaware the sort of kind of is about as good as i could do and so our last two states are going to be florida and georgia so we would probably feel like we should have some good old-fashioned southern rock here and i'm definitely not going to be showing the florida georgia line so i thought about florida who should represent florida well i thought the most florida thing i could think of in my record collection uh from hialeah florida on tk records we've got casey and the sunshine band yes some some white boy, at least Harry Wayne Casey was a white boy, uh, disco uh, from southern Florida as we lose our focus. But, of course, that's the way we like it. Um, and then let's move on to the state of Georgia. So, of course, we could go with Little Richard, James Brown, Otis Redding, TLC, Outkast, the Indigo Girls, or we really could go the southern rock route with like some of my favorite southern rock bands like rem or the b-52s but we could go for another group from that scene chomp 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 yeah it's pylon you probably don't know pylon the way you know rem or the way you know the b-52s uh Somebody once said they were America's best rock band. That's probably going a little bit further, but here's your Southern art rock for you. Chomp. 